Hello there everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I created my swatch using the new watercolour tubes. So first up I have all of the watercolour tubes all lined up in beautiful rainbow order on the side of my screen and then I'm also going to be taking a palette. So before I start swatching these I am going to need to add some of the paint from the tube on to my palette. So to do that all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tube remove the cap and I'm just going to add a tiny dot of colour to my palette. Now you do not need a lot of this, there is so much pigment in these watercolours that you are going to need less than you think that you're going to need. So as, I, as you can see I'm just going to add a dot of one of the colour, then I'm going to add the cap back on. Remember do add that cap back on and make sure it's nice and secure. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to move on to the next colour and I'm just going to repeat that process until I have all of the colours on my palette. Onto a piece of watercolour cardstock, I have split it up into 10 sections. So in each of those sections, I am going to add one of the colours from the watercolour tubes. The first one that I have here is the Quin Acridone Magenta. This is a, such a pretty kind of pinky colour that we have. It reminds me very much of the Cherry Blossom colour from the Artist watercolour set. So as you can see, I'm just adding that colour directly right onto the left hand side and then I'm going to drag that colour out step by step, just adding more water. So as you can see, I have cleaned my brush on kind of each of them, not cleaning it properly, just kind of swirling it around in my water, color, water jar before I add the next section. And I do that three times to create that kind of branded, banded effect that we have. So for the next colour it's the Toledone Red and I'm going to do exactly the same um, kind of technique with this one. So I'm adding that beautiful pigmented colour right to the left hand side. I'm then going to drag that out a kind of quarter away through the panel, then add some water, drag that out another quarter, add some more water, drag it out another quarter and then the last portion I've really kind of tried to clean the brush off a little bit more to add in that. Um, fourth section on there. Next up we have the Permanent Yellow Deep, really easy one to pronounce that one unlike the others and I'm just going to do the same technique where I have more of the pigment on one side of the panel and then less or really really not so much on the other side. Next up we have the Opera Yellow, this is such a beautiful vibrant neon colour and you can see just how vibrant that is. It's like it's actually shining. It's so beautifully and beautiful and bright. So I, again, I'm just gonna use the same technique to add the color through that little panel or the little section that we have there. Again, really cleaning off that brush to add in the last um, portion. And you can see a lot of different hues that you can create just by adding a little bit more water to the paint that you have. Remember you can always mix these colours as well and that is going to give you greater kind of difference there. This colour that I am using is the Thalo Green so it's great to have a green in this set so you can quickly and easily add grass, you can add foliage and leaves and stems but again if you did want to change the colour of this green you can add more yellows in and you can also add blue colours to create different shades there. Again, same technique as before to add in the various hues to the section. Okay, so next up we have one of my favourites. This is the Dark Cyan. So again, I'm adding a touch of water just to the paint just to kind of activate it a little bit more before adding that with the most pigment on the left hand side. Again, I've just swirled my brush in the water to kind of clean off some of that paint before adding the next quarter. Again, I have cleaned off the brush once we have done that to add in the third quarter and then I'm going to clean my brush off even more, um, giving it more of a swirl to see what kind of really light hue that we can create with this one. It is such a pretty colour. 
I am so excited to use this one on many different projects. Next up, we have the Thalo Blue. So it's called Thalo Blue, like the Thalo Green that we have, and that's the pigment that we have in this one. So this is the Thalo Blue. This is a really beautiful kind of primary kind of blue color that we have. And as you can see, there is so much pigment in here. Even when I have washed it off the brush for that second quarter, there is still a lot of pigment on there and it kind of looks still like the first one. Such a beautiful blue color and we are sure that you're gonna have so much fun using this one. Next up, we do have another blue, but this is a darker um, shade of blue and it's harder to mix this kind of color without having some really dark shades in there. So this is the per Prussian blue or Persian blue, I'm gonna say Prussian and it is such a gorgeous navy one of my favorites you all know that i love a good navy and this is a beautiful one even adding more kind of um, water to it even though we're diluting the color it still has that kind of navy dark tone to it even in the lighter hues next up we have a purple and this is the quinacridone violet. So again, we have the quinacridone magenta and these two have the same kind of color pigments within them. And so that's why they are called the same, but um, the kind of color has changed. So in this one, I'm just gonna do the same um, technique that we've been doing to make the swatch. So we add the darkest color in the first quarter, add some water to that, pull it across another quarter, then add a little bit more water to pull it across the third quarter and then more water to really get that really lightest hue that we can. Last but not least, we have the titanium white. Now this is more opaque than the other waters colors that we have and you're not gonna be able to see much of the kind of swatch on this one because it is very, very white, but it is useful to mix with the other colors and to use on darker color cardstocks. So here are all the swatches. I'm gonna leave those to dry before we do add the names onto them. I do recommend using a pen to add the name so you definitely know which color that you are using when you use your swatch. You could do this as well by creating different swatches using different mixes. We really do hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye. Hello there crafty friend, Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.